We're both from the office. Dorothy Moore's life has been caught on camera, such as the day the 16-year-old office worker stepped out in her first suit. Every day we used to have to dress up. and Sometimes I wore, we wore hat. <laughs> hat does to <not> work. <laughs> The 97-year-old is among thousands of Australians captured by street photographers who pounded city footpaths for a few decades from the 1930s. The snappers handed out cards with instructions on how to redeem the portraits from nearby kiosks. When street photography came on the market, this gave everyone an opportunity to get a photo of themselves and what makes them unique is they're very candid, so people are mid-stride. And all for the cost of a beer. Now, Sydney Living Museum is putting these photos on show after a public call-out netted more than 1,500 responses. It's an extraordinary archive of our cities and our people across three decades. Street photographers plied their trade at busy places, like here at Customs House in Sydney. In the last three years of the 1930s, an estimated two million pictures were sold. Brothers Frank and Pat Doherty were just three and five when they were snapped outside Sydney's Customs House. That one's fairly special because on the back of it is uh, my mother's handwriting where she sent that photograph to Dad while he's away in the war and said, here are your two little boys, Frankie and Pat. A fascinating snapshot of Australia's past for a new generation to enjoy. Michaela Boland, ABC News.